Right, just making a quick update video on this Renegy Phoenix 1000. This thing is actually available again. Now, I made a video on this when this thing first launched. And uh, one of the interesting things about this unit is that if you're looking for kind of like a, a cheap and portable system that can do split phase, you know, 240 volt output and, um, and, and some 120 at the same time, this is basically, from what I've seen, this is basically the, the cheapest, best option. And especially, like I said, when you're talking about portability as well, this unit is about 40 pounds. And, you know, the specs, we'll, we'll kind of talk about all the specs here just to kind of go over everything again, like, like real quick. It's not going to be quite as in-depth as the original video. And then it's also available with a single phase as well. You know, if you want uh, that kind of 30 amp uh, RV style outlet, you got, you got that option as well. Now, even if you don't plan on using the parallel kits, this thing is, is uh, pretty capable on its own. So for the inverter here, we actually get, it's 1500 watts. And then it does have, um, well, we'll talk about all the charging here in a second, but um, pretty good charging specs on it as well. And as the name suggests, it is about a thousand watt hours. And then if you hook these things up together with the parallel kit, you know, either the split phase or the single phase, um, basically it bumps the inverter output up to 2700 watts. So not quite, it doesn't quite double it to 3000, but still, you know, 2700 watts, that's pretty good stuff. And now one thing to notice that the split phase, you know, with the 240 volt outlet, it's only available for the large unit here, the, the Phoenix 1000, the one we're talking about. They actually sell a uh, similar unit, the Phoenix 500, that's, you know, about half the size. Um, they do sell that one as well. And you can actually use the single phase. So with the 30 amp outlet, you can actually use that on the, the 500 there. Now, uh, another thing to note about this little 500 unit is that it is NMC batteries. So only the, the 1000 here is the only one in this kind of uh, you know Phoenix series, it's the only one that gets LFP batteries. And again, just to go over the charging here real quick, you know, we do get that bi-directional inverter, basically charges at a 1C rate from the wall in, in about one hour. And then the solar is pretty good, pretty good, pretty decent, 400 watts going into it. Um, and it is up to 100 volts, so pretty good voltage range on that. And the only disappointing thing is it's, it's kind of, it's really weird, especially because, you know, this is a pretty sizable unit. They're actually using an XT30 on there. So, uh, you know, I have no idea, like, why couldn't they put an XT60 on there? I have no idea. And this thing does have a UPS, like a UPS mode. They're calling it a standby power supply, SPS. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, 20 milliseconds they're claiming on that. And then just to kind of talk about this design again real quick, you know, basically, like I said, with this unit, the, the main appeal is the portability and the weight, you know, for having a split phase option. But um, still, at the end of the day, this is kind of, you know, compared to the competitors in this kind of 1,000 watt hour class, this is a big unit, right? This is a big boy. Um, this thing, you know, 41 pounds, yes. Um, that's, you know, not, it's a little heavy, a little on the heavy side. But um, especially when we talk about some of the other uh, lightweight competition, like the, the U-Green, the Delta II, um, some of the other units that I've talked about. But, you know, basically the, the weight is one thing, but it's really this form factor. I mean, this is a, it's a, it's a big unit, like physically it's a big unit. And on this image, you can kind of see what's going on here and kind of why, you know, why it ended up being so large is basically they're using, well, well check this out. You know, here are the batteries. <laughs> here are the batteries the LFP batteries and you know, LFP cells are pretty large. And I mean, look at this, it's like just this little area down here. Like that's it, that, you know, look at the size of this unit compared to the batteries in this thing. Like, you know, this is just, this is just crazy. Like if you take a look at the inside of like a Delta II, the batteries are like half the size of the unit, but they are using kind of the steel chassis. So you can see all these kind of like steel support frame in here. This is kind of like um, a good idea really, you know, as far as, uh, worrying about uh, impact resistance and stuff like that. Um, just kind of, you know, the overall durability of this thing, you know, obviously the, the plastic shell, but having a nice steel kind of frame inside, that's kind of a good idea, but you are again, paying for it with, with the weight and the overall uh, increased footprint and size of this unit. And then of course it doesn't help that we have this like really awkward handle design. This is just like really unfortunate to kind of see this, especially if they're just taking a look at that, that Dabson 2300, which just had a super clean, integrated handle design on that right like, like i just love to see that but if you actually take a look at this thing like like straight on from the front you can actually kind of see what they were trying to do with this design you know basically they have all these angles here you know from the front from the front view you can kind of see that they all kind of make sense they kind of have this angled out 
And then of course we have the, the little, uh, you know, the lights here, this little accent light, you know, the design there, it kind of mimics that. So, you know, when you look at it like this, it looks fine. But from any other angle, it just, you know, it just looks messy and excessive up there. Now, one thing to note is that um, this is actually like a, a rendering. They should actually update this because they actually have like a really cool logo for these products, like this Phoenix series. You know, it actually says like Phoenix up here, uh, Phoenix 1000 in this case. And it's actually just like a really cool logo. I'll try to see if I can find a, a real image of that. So yeah, they should update the images on here because you know this. It, it basically it just looks like a generic unit, right? I mean, this is Renegy's a kind of a big time brand, but I do kind of like these accent lights on the front. Now you can't change the color of this thing, but you know in the app you can do a, quite a lot with it. You can actually change the uh, kind of the mode, and you can actually infinitely uh, adjust the brightness on there as well. So yeah, this thing is finally back in stock, and they still have this pretty good price on it as well. So um, something you might want to take a look at, right? Especially if you're looking at getting something with a 240 volt outlet on it. And, uh, and hopefully you just kind of found this video helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.